Hi, greetings from Dhami I K Hospital, Ludhiana. So today's talk is going to be about some general awareness facts about how to prevent or minimize the spread of COVID-19 in this era in which the cases are going higher and higher day by day. So what can the general population do to just minimize or prevent themselves from getting infected? So what I would like to highlight today is that what are the causes for this spread? So one we know that if somebody who is positive and is talking in less than one meter distance to you, then those particles, because these are droplet particles, and you can if you inhale them, then you there's a very high chance that you can get infected. The second most dangerous thing is right here is your hands. So what happens is that routinely we touch different surfaces. Now if you have not been cleaning your hands routinely then what is the one thing we do most of the times? We touch our face, we touch our nose, we touch our mouth. Now this T zone is one of the most dangerous places to touch your hands. What you'll be surprised by is that one tends to touch 23 times in an hour around this whole face area for different reasons. One may be stress, one hand can go like this. One may be talking, hand can go like this. You may have an irritation, you might just rub your hands. So these are the most trickiest places which you may not even know but you are still doing it just because it's a habit and habits don't go easy. So what I'm trying to emphasize today is that how can we minimize this. First of all we all know that we've been told by the government and all the institutes that we have to clean our hands with soap water for more than 20 seconds. Once our hands are clean then we can definitely use to clean a face or you know touch the face. But in case you have been touching the surfaces or you have been moving around in different places, then it's imperative that you wash your hands with soap water or you use an alcohol disinfectant and make sure that the alcohol disinfectant is completely dry before you bring it close to the eye because alcohol can damage the cornea or the conjunctival surface also. Now, if at all you feel like that you have to touch, then you make sure that you keep your hands in a namaste position or you keep them crossed so that you minimize this touch. It is important because when I am talking about is this T zone, that means your two eyes, your nose and your mouth. These are the direct access points through which the virus can enter into the respiratory tract and can cause problems. So what a simple solution to a big problem is not to touch your hands to your face. And in case you are still, you know, you have to clear your sweat, so might as well use a cloth or a tissue paper or a clean paper to just dab around the sweat and clean it off but make sure that you clean your hands before that. Now the second most important thing that we have been noticing is that you know when we wear a mask we have this very bad habit that we keep touching the outer surface of the mask. Now just to think of it you know that when you're moving around in an environment this is the surface the outer surface of the mask is most exposed that means if at all that you have spoken to a person who may be asymptomatic or symptomatic this is the area where the virus particle can settle and when we take off the mask we have a general tendency of pulling it like this down this is where we go wrong this is where we have again you know touched our hands to the part which is more liable for spreading the infection so what is more important is that when you're wearing a mask which is tied down to your head just open the mask up top and just pull it down like this so that you have not touched it and in case you're wearing a stringed mask behind your ears just remove it from the sides and pull it down now these are the most important things that we need to take care of this is what is important to make sure that we minimize the spread not only to the people around us but also to our family we need to make these points and take it into our habit not to touch our hands cleaning our hands regularly and making sure we're taking all the precautions to minimize the spread. Thank you.